Hello everyone, this is Sean Heather and today we are going to have a detailed review of MSI Stealth 15M gaming laptop by talking about all of its features, design, build quality, hardware specs, performance and all of its pros and cons. But before we start, if you are new to this channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon as well so you do not miss any future videos. So first of all let's start with the design of Stealth 15M. So in terms of design, Stealth 15M does not look like a gaming laptop from any angle because it is very slim with just 15.95mm thickness and it weighs just 1.7 kg. You can give the credit to Nvidia's Max-Q design that allows laptop manufacturers to build slim and lightweight gaming laptops by slightly reducing the performance of the device. The bezels across the screen are very thin as well. At the top we got the 720p HD camera. The bottom bezel is a bit thick and it features the MSI branding. Right above the keyboard we got the honeycomb designed ventilation grille. The keyboard slot is a bit indented and right below the keyboard we got the touchpad with the integrated left right buttons. On the right hand side we got a USB type C Thunderbolt 4 port along with display port. So this is one of the features that I was missing on most of the MSI gaming laptops that we usually do not have the Thunderbolt bolt port. So this is a nice inclusion on Stealth 15M for sure. And then we got a USB Type-A 3.2 port, a 4K at 60Hz HDMI port, ventilation grill on the left hand side. Once again we got the ventilation grill, the DC in and there is an SD card reader provided as well that shows that MSI is not only targeting the gamers with Stealth 15M but also the young creative professionals as it comes with an SD card reader and the device does not look like a gaming laptop so you can easily bring it to your workplace, you can bring it to business meetings for presentation and all and nobody will be able to know that this is not a business laptop but a gaming laptop. And after that we got another USB Type-A port and a combo mic in audio output port. As you can see that because of the slim design of the Stealth 15M there is no RJ45 port provided so you will have to use a USB Type-A to RJ45 adapter if you want to use a wired connection with Stealth 15M. The all aluminum chassis is strong and durable and the lid of Stealth 15M can be opened with just one hand and it can rotate up to 180 degrees. So once again this is a very rare feature that you will find in any gaming laptop and usually it is available in business laptops only so it's totally visible that MSI is targeting the young professionals and the gamers equally with still 15M. On the back of the display we got ventilation grills and once you open the lid there is plenty of space provided for better ventilation. At the bottom once again we got the honeycomb ventilation grills that we have earlier seen on MSI GF66 Katana. At the bottom you will find two 2 watt speakers and some rubber strips to elevate the device for better ventilation once again. Talking about the hardware specs, the Stealth 15M comes with 11th generation Intel Core i7 processor. We got the Nvidia GeForce RTX 2060 with Max-Q design. So the performance is going to be slightly lower compared to the regular GeForce RTX 2060. We got 16 GB RAM, 1 TB PCLE Gen 4 SSD storage and if needed you can also expand the RAM of the device. Now talking about the performance in our benchmarking test, Stealth 15M performed as expected expected based on the hardware specs. The RTX 2060 is pretty capable GPU for VR purposes and you can use the still 15M with your VR headset. In real life scenario compared to the benchmarking scores, the performance of still 15M was actually better. We played few of the most popular titles on the highest possible traffic setting and in all of them the performance of still 15M was quite impressive for sure. So it does not matter what kind of games you play, on still 15M you will get a solid 60 to 70 FPS on full HD resolution on most of those games. Most of the time the fans are quite silent and only in the extreme cases they get noisy. Still 15M comes with Cooler Boost 5.0 with two fans and six 
six heat pipes. So the cooling mechanism is quite capable in handling the high-end gaming, but sometimes the area right above the keyboard and below the screen gets very hot, but rest of the surface stays at moderate temperature. So while playing game, most of the time you won't feel any issue because of the heating or because of the fan's noise. Talking about the battery life, it comes with a small 52 watt hour battery. So as expected, battery life is not that great and especially once you start playing games or performing heavy workload, the battery goes down very quickly. The 150 watt adapter provided is also quite fast. You can also use the Thunderbolt 4 port provided to charge the battery of still 15M at up to 100 watt. But considering the resource hungry hardware, I will prefer to go with the official 150 watt adapter provided by MSI. The keyboard provided is quite nice and it comes with RGB lighting. But the drawback is that we got a single zone RGB so you cannot have so much different and very nice lighting effects on a still 15M compared to the other high-end models of MSI or other brands. You can use the Mystique Light app to customize the lighting of the still 15M keyboard and when it comes to typing experience, the Q Travel is good enough for day-to-day -day usage and also for the casual gaming. The keyboard also comes with some additional and dedicated keys that you can use to perform various actions like turning on of the webcam, microphone, quickly switching between the user scenarios, rotating the screen, etc. The trackpad provided is a bit small and also a bit bouncy. Once again, it is good enough for daily usage. Talking about the speakers, like always, MSI is providing two 2 watt bottom firing speakers with Nahimic audio. So even though the audio output is not loud enough, the Nahimic application helps a lot and contributes contributes in better audio experience on a still 15M. Talking about the display, we got a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS screen with 144Hz refresh rate. The display quality is quite nice, the brightness is a bit low but still good enough for the indoor usage and 144Hz refresh rate will let you enjoy all kinds of games on this device and also while watching the movies etc. Now talking about the software based features, it comes with MSI app player that allows you to install Android applications and games on your Steel 15M. So if you are a smartphone gamer then you can also play all of your favorite games on Steel 15M on a bigger screen with better hardware. It comes with MSI's Dragon Center, monitor the CPU usage. GPU usage and all other parameters at a glance at one single screen. In the gaming mode, you can add your favorite games for one click gaming enhancement. Under the user scenario, you can select different user scenario based on your preference and necessity. It also provides some keyboard options. You can also record game highlights using the MSI Companion app. The Mystique Light feature allows you to customize the lighting of the RGB keyboard we got on a Steel 15M and it also comes with a noise cancellation feature feature that allows you to reduce the noise cancellation in a speaker and in microphone as well. You can also use the battery master feature to select how you would like the battery of a steel 15M to be charged based on your necessity. The MSI Companion app allows you to quickly change the user scenario, change the mouse sensitivity, the volume and it also provides an in-game overlay that shows some important parameters like FPS, GPU performance, CPU, memory, fan speed etc right on the screen while you are playing game or just doing any other activity on the device. Overall, MSI Steel 15M is a very nice laptop for young gamers and creative professionals. The design and build quality is nice, it's very slim, very lightweight, you can bring it to your office or any other place. The performance is quite nice considering the hardware we got, the display quality is nice and it comes with good amount of ports and connectivity options. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching this video, if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.